Hi, this is Kim with The Painted Cottage and I just wanted to show you what is new in the shop these days because I am completely decked out for spring. So there's spring everywhere, there's bright colors. I have a bunny, I have an entire huge bunny display and then there's bunnies scattered everywhere. So um, there's a dog, you know, she's just following me everywhere I go. She, she is very devoted. <laughs> and very obnoxious um so because i've been tripping over her so much lately because she's just always right there so anyway um i have excess inventory but i wanted to bring in a bunch of stuff for spring and i am going to be moving into a booth soon so i'm going to have the two spaces i'm going to have um this shop and then i'm going to have a new booth space in a shop so i will bring you more info on that in a, an upcoming video um but i just wanted to tell you um show you what's in the shop these days for spring so i'm just going to take you on a quick little tour so um this is a cute little message board. So message board, photo board. Uh, I love these little things. So that guy, I have these. I did show these in that last video where I was showing all the, the new white things that I had painted. So those are part of that collection. A new coffee sign, a cute little uh, carrot garland. Love this enamel pot. A couple of vintage items. Bunnies. Bunnies, bunnies. Birdhouses. This is um, this is a nice new container. You can use this as like a vase. Um, it sits or it hangs. You got that caddy down there. And then this beautiful hat with the pastel colors or the pretty bright springy colors on there. Uh, that's a new guy up there. It would look really super cute with some greenery or floral. I do have a few more Valentine's Day items, so I will be bringing those out. I just put that one up on the wall this time around. Um, here, oh, I missed the cross. Okay, here's a new cross. This is more of the, just the natural wood stain color with a little bit of the metal. And then this guy, you may have seen me working on this. I was, I posted a picture that I had painted it white and I had distressed part of it. So this is now what it looks like. I love how this turned out. It is just beautiful. It's a nice, decent sized cross. Um, some some other items, some signs. Um, this is one of those gold ornate frames that I painted. It's a medium gray tone. Um, and then distress that back to the gold. Uh, here's another one of those little message boards. It's a little bit smaller than the other one. Bunny. Bunny. <laughs> um, here is that jewelry box. So I showed some pictures of that while I was doing it. I love, I so love this cute little guy. He's so adorable. Oh, here are those. Oh my gosh. I just love how these candle holders turned out. They're so gorgeous. So they were brown, you know, like a brown wood underneath. And then I painted them green. And then, um, it's called moss green. So it's, it's a nice medium tone green. Um, then I dry brushed white over it and then distressed back. And I just think those are stunning. All right. Then I got the scale. Uh, and I do have, actually got to show those to you too when I wrap around. I just got in some bread bowls, some hand carved bread bowls. Um, these are cheese molds. And I have a couple sugar molds left and a couple antique bobbins left. The sun is coming in and pizzazzing this up over here. It's pretty bright. So I, these were also in that video, these beautiful chippy candle holders. I really love those. Those are just right in my style. I got these little birds. They're so cute. If you can even see them. I got a little bunny here. Yeah, I got some stuff back there. It's hard to see with how the light's coming in and the 
in the shop right now. Some pigs, some roosters, and bunnies. Look at how cute, I love it. All right, then we're gonna move over here. Hopefully, okay, good, the lighting's a little better over here. This is the bunny table. <laughs> so, couple birds and bunnies everywhere. A couple little chicks, look at how cute they are. A nice, I love this candle holder set. It's just a very um, rustic, like a little bit of like an antiqued brown, distressed brown. Those are really pretty. And then lots of bunnies. So um, again, if you see stuff, you know, like people you guys have done in the past, if you see something, um, send me a message, like pause the video, take a screenshot, and you know, let me know what you're interested in. I love this little picnic basket. I just love how that looks. So pretty. It's a transfer on there. So yeah, I can send you, and especially with the stuff that you can't see very well because of the lighting, I can take good pictures for you and send that stuff over. Love these couple little copper pieces. They're just so cool. <laughs> Throw those in your kitchen decor. And now we're going to get a little harder because it's pretty, a pretty bright background. So it's a little harder to see. Some vintage items. I got my vintage cheese grater, the salt and pepper shakers, um, the rolling pins. All right. And I think that's about it for that side. Okay. Moving around. I have this really cool um, divider that's wood. Couple pieces of the wall decor. Some more fun spring stuff up here. The mantle is not for sale. Sorry, I know everybody wants the mantle, but I love, 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 love my mantle. <laughs> um, I have looked for other ones for you, and I've talked to my husband about maybe making some mantles. Okay, so I. <sighs> I just, this typewriter, wow. I just picked this up recently. Like, shockingly found this at a local garage sale. It's so pretty. I I haven't quite decided if I'm selling it yet, so I don't know quite yet. It's so gorgeous. And look at how cute that little floral looks right there. Oh, my gosh, so cute. Anyway, um, okay, I have all oh, these new yellow flowers. I think I had that in the, the last video, too, though. All right, and I got these. Um, planter holders. L honestly, let me know if you, so these are just a natural wood tone right now. If you want them, let me know soon. Otherwise, I'm going to take that apart. I'm going to take that metal part off and I'm actually going to paint the wood white and distress it. So let me know if you want it white and distressed. Um, but that's what I'm going to do pretty soon just to brighten it up. All right. Coming back around over here, I have some yard stakes. So these cute, cute bunnies. And let's see. In the near future, I'm actually gonna bring you a, a video dedicated just to the candles. Oh, did I show you? Where's my, oh, he's over there. Oh, I didn't, oh, I didn't show you this part. Okay, that's why. Because I had another rooster that I just picked up recently. Look at that rooster. He's so beautiful. I was lucky enough to, to, to snag him at the flea market. All right, this is an old antique drawer, old wood drawer that I repurposed into a little shelf. It's adorable cowboy boots with the floral, so bright and pretty. All right, and then this stuff over here. Ooh, I gotta paint that. That would be a fun project to paint soon. It should go pretty quickly, it's a smaller piece. 
I have so many things I need to just do. <laughs> it's, but it's, I, I, I don't know. It's hard. To, sometimes it's hard to get motivated. Okay, the repairs have been done on that. That, I was just waiting for uh, a leg I needed to repair. So um, I should probably take that out, sand that down, and then finish that guy. Okay, what else did I miss? Hang on, swinging you around, sorry. Um, couple... Oh, I have to show you this table. Okay, let me show you this table. It has some, I picked up these pumpkins recently. They're adorable, these big twine pumpkins. These couple have sparkles on them and they light up. So those are super cool. And I got this guy down here. Totally, if you want them, fine, let me know. But otherwise, they're just going to go into storage and then I will bring them out for the fall. Um, but check out this table, this chippy, 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 chippy table. So cute. All right. I do have a couple. Um, I am actually, so I used to carry a whole section of coastal decor. I am going to move away from that. I just, it's not my focus. It's not, it's not me. You know what I mean? I mean, it's, I love it, but I'm moving away from coastal. So if you want coastal, I have a few pieces left and then I will not continue to do coastal stuff. Here's the candles. So I have um, fully stocked. I actually have more than this. It's in another display, uh, but I'm fully stocked on candles. I'll bring you a video pretty soon on that. I love this sign. It's hysterical. <laughs> Um, okay, here are my bread bowls or my dough bowls. So, uh, if you are interested in dough bowls, I think these are like a, like 13 by nine, um, hand carved, beautiful. So let me know if you, if you need a dough bowl. Oh, I hear, I decorated this one up so you can kind of see how to style it. This is just, I mean, obviously you can do anything with it, but I styled that one up with the little candle. And then I have this beautiful wall plaque. This is pretty, actually this is as tall as I am. So this is five feet, um, really pretty statement piece. And okay, we're almost done, we're almost done. Oh my God, that stuff up there, this beautiful sea glass and the white mirror back there. Here is one of my bobbins that I have left. I might only have one, maybe two left. Here's the antique sugar molds, the some more cheese molds, and then I think this is it. I think we're good. I think we're almost done, which is good because my video hasn't been interrupted by an incoming phone call or text. <laughs> so, okay, that's what we got. And then just one more thing, one more thing I just want to show you right here. So I have this old five panel vintage door, and this is going to be turning into something super cool pretty soon. So I've painted it white. I'm going to distress it. And then my husband is going to make me a table. We're going to put a table attached to it um, with probably two shelves on the table. We're going to put a shelf up there with some pretty metal corbels. And this is going to become a coffee bar. This, we made one of these up north. It was amazing. So if you are interested in kind of a, I mean, this is, it, it'll tuck against a wall. It's, a, it's going to be a smaller profile piece. Um, it's going to, come out maybe like 16 inches deep from the wall just to make sure it can accommodate a coffee uh, coffee maker or a Keurig. So, um, but that's going to be coming soon and that'll be just a super cool piece. All right, here's just a furniture. I got furniture. I need to paint furniture. All right, so that's what I got. That's, uh, that's it for today. I will get back to you soon with a with a candle video. And then tomorrow, here's what I'm gonna start doing. I'm gonna become a little bit more structured. Oh, I gotta paint this piece too. I know exactly what I'm doing with this. It's so pretty. Anyway, um, I'm gonna be coming a little bit more structured. I wanna bring you more videos. And um, so Thursdays, Thursdays are gonna be thrift, thrifting Thursdays. Uh, I'm gonna show you all of the goodies that I have picked up over the week and bring those to you on Thursdays. So have a great day. I miss you guys. I need to have another show soon. That's another thing. I'm gonna have another show probably by the first, oh, I gotta start working on that. But anyway, um, within the next month or so, hopefully I'll be able to have another show, get the spring stuff in front of you guys. You can come and visit the shop. So, all right, thanks for watching and I will talk to you soon, bye.